and the Western men who read it agree 100% that not many people had the courage and uh, the honesty to write a book like this. But I did! Okay, good morning from Kyoto, Japan. I'm David and this is Chris. How you doing? And we are in Shimogamo, uh, about two minutes from Shimogamo Shrine, one of the oldest shrines in Japan. And today I'm going to, Chris is filming, and I'm going to introduce my library here in Kyoto. And we're going to sh show you th over 3,000 books. <laughs> and right behind us, is our 700 books about Japan in English. So, do you think this is the biggest or probably one of the biggest libraries in all the English book libraries? Yeah. Obviously, Japanese different, but English book libraries in Japan, especially I about Japan? I think so. Private, yes, private libraries for sure. I think, I think. Maybe the universities have more. But. Uh, seven, and many, some of these books are from library sales uh, from California. So, this library is 40 years in the making. I started in 1982 and collecting from the California, uh, Orange County, California libraries. And you can see some of the, uh, the, the library marks. These books were all for used book sale. Like, look at this. Here's a book on Japan and the Philippines. 40 cents. 40 cents for this book. Probably now, of course, out of print. So all the other books were bought at book sales and through Hamilton booksellers in America, but now I've continued buying books here in Japan. So this is 40 years, 700 books on Japan. Okay, this particular bookcase is one of my favorites because this is all books about psychology. I even have the DSM-5, you know, so you can check on how mentally ill you are and buy the official Bible that the psychiatrists use. These are all wonderful books about various parts of psychology. Crazy people usually study psychology so they can better understand themselves. And I've always been fascinated by psychology. And if I had it to do over again, I would be have become a psychologist. <laughs> <laughs>